love and do what you will do you agree with that statement people misunderstand and get angry and upset and say augustine's words are dangerous do anything you should be forgiven live a life of debauchery you can cheat you but but i'm loving them no that's not the love true love which comes from god true love which which jesus has brought to us a deep understanding of love will never make you lead people away from god it will direct you along the right path this is matthew chapter 5 today the gospel they are accusing jesus what kind of man is this is a sermon on the mount and he's teaching them something else blessed are the meek blessed are the poor are we always thought god blesses them and makes them well to do and prosperous he saying blessed are the poor blessed are those who cry he's turning things upside down and jesus tells them i am a law abiding jew i have not come to abolish moses the law or the prophets i have come to accomplish it to fulfill it is jesus worried about the externals the soul the internal not the externals not washing the hands from the elbow down nicely not polishing the shoes with cherry blossom only we need a nice shoe sure, of course but much more than that the interior who am i how do i treat others how do i respect someone else how do i look at the work that is given to me as a drudgery how do i prepare food for my children how do i make the chores pulao on sunday with a lot of love or out out of duty i have to do it we can ask ourselves today jesus inviting us to or something that looks beyond the letter of the law the spirit of the law the spirit of the law love all the 613 precepts of the law in the old testament he makes into love god love neighbor you can call it as one command one commandment or two but that jesus has synthesized it to something very beautiful for us my friends let's pause for a moment gently close our eyes and ask the lord lord today teach me to love let love take precedence over law amen